Hello everybody, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, this video is actually uh, for my cousin, but decided it would post it to Facebook. Uh, Mom learned to make buttermilk biscuits from her grandmother, who was known for how great her biscuits are, and she's probably, I'd say probably the best in the family at making buttermilk biscuits. So here we go, we're going to show you how she makes them, uh, the, all the ingredients. Uh, that need to be put together will be below but you're going to start out with about five tablespoons of butter melted in your iron skillet uh, if you don't use an iron skillet they're just not going to taste as good and a secret to a good iron skillet is a seasoned iron skillet you never wash it always wipe it clean after you use it to make cornbread or or whatever but you never wash that skillet she started out with I think two and a half cups of flour. She added a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of soda. All, the, all of it's below. She added baking powder. Uh, this is buttermilk. We started out with um, half a cup. Anyway, it's all below. We kept adding the buttermilk to get just the right amount. We had to measure because we don't use a whole lot of recipes. We just add this and that and know what to put in it. So. She added her buttermilk. It's going to all be listed below how much she put. Uh, but, you know, a little bit more, a little bit less, uh, depending on the day and the humidity and how much flour you actually use. We did sift the flour. It's important that your flour is sifted. It makes the biscuit lighter. Now we added our butter in at the last, and she'll mix it in, then start patting out the biscuits. Uh, she did it an easier way to kind of show you how uh, you can put the biscuits in. She's going to use a spoon and scoop them out, but she's going to flour her hands to smooth out the outside of the biscuit. That's really important. And also, you don't really want to over mix a biscuit, so uh, don't use the blender or the mixer or anything like that. A lot of people add their butter in at the first. You don't have to do that. She adds hers at the last. So she's going to get a pretty good heaping tablespoon of the, the dough mixture. And you can just kind of see the consistency. And she's got flour on her hands. And she'll start adding them to the iron skillet. And you'll just keep doing this until you get the biscuits in the pan. And it's just that easy. She's getting flour on her hand, when her hand and putting a little bit on top of the biscuits. That way they're smooth. The old way of making biscuits was you put probably half a bag of flour in a big bowl and you made a well in the center and she started with her buttermilk in the center using her hands to incorporate the flour and the buttermilk in the center of the well of the flour. Um, that's how Granny Hours actually made them was using a large amount of flour then you sifted the flour and put it back in the bin and used it again uh, she would put her soda baking powder and all that in the buttermilk mixture that way it got incorporated in the flour correctly what she'll do is she keeps putting them in the the skillet she'll position them and then at the very last she will actually press the biscuits down so they're all even um, when these bake up, they're going to rise out of the top of the skillet. They're really good. See how she's adding a little flour to keep it smooth? So you don't want your dough too wet. That's why I said more or less use the amount of buttermilk below. You want them sticky, but you don't want them soupy. We're up to nine cat heads. I think it actually made 11 pretty good sized biscuits. Today we fixed... Uh, since Stephanie needed a biscuit recipe, we did uh, mashed potatoes, gravy. Dad went to Brookshire's and got us some fried chicken. We had green beans already cooked. So we had an easy, easy meal today. Uh, homemade mashed potatoes. And I'll do them again, mashed potatoes, in a, another week or so and show you how the true way that Mama and probably all your grandmothers really made mashed potatoes. You used canned cream and butter and all the good stuff but we okay here we go we got them all smashed down we got them in the oven 
and they're going to bake right at about 15 minutes at 430 degrees. Everything will be listed below. Hope everybody enjoyed the video. All the families, hello from us in Lufkin. We'd like to see you guys sometime soon. Maybe when this dead gum pandemic is over, we can have actually have a reunion. Love you guys. Talk to you later.